This video is sponsored by Own.TV. Spoiler alert, the long-awaited, Discord server is now live, hang out with other creative people as well as me on the server easily, check the link in the description box below. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. In this video, we will create this clean looking Twitch panel, only using Figma for free. Also, a very cool trick at the end is to change the whole color by adjusting a single color options panel. As we are not going to use any Photoshop or alternative of Photoshop. So it will be a beginner friendly tutorial and this video is coming up right now. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, Own.TV. If you are looking to boost your live streaming graphics most easily and affordably possible, then Own.TV will be the choice to go. They have the largest library of premium, live streaming pre-made assets for any niche you are in. Get professionally made overlays, alerts, emotes, Twitch panels, social media banners, deck icons, stream package, and many more. Use the link in the description box below and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off on all of their products. You can download the Figma for free on Windows or Mac OS, click the link below to download the Figma, you can work with Figma in browser as well. In the Figma dashboard create a new design file and give that a name you want. Select the frame tool and choose the MacBook preset under the desktop tab. Press Ctrl and mouse up wheel, to make the frame larger, we will have a nice and big canvas to do the design. Select the frame and give the same twitch light mode color. Which is hash F7 F7 F8. Now, make a rectangular with this resolution 320 for width and 83 for height, this will be the Twitch panel base we will be working on. Add a 10 pixels round a corner. Now I will use a very light tone of our primary color. You can get the lightest tone by clicking the square beside the colo code option, then move the circle towards the white section, you will have the subtle light tone of your color. After doing that, add a one pixel stroke with the primary color, so, the base elevates from the background. Once we have done that, let's create the flowing lines. Select the pen tool from the toolbar and draw a curly line something like in. Give that flowing line the color of the primary color. But as you can see, it's weird how the line is crossing the base. To fix that, please follow these steps. Hold Shift and select both the layer and press Ctrl plus G, it will make a group. Now select the rectangle base and right click. From there, choose frame selection. Check the clip content option, it will keep all the content in the frame we have created. After that, drag the vector line to the newly created frame. Now we are going to create the left elements. Choose the circle shape tool and draw a circle where the icon will be placed. I will add a fill color of a slighter darker tone than the actual rectangle base color. You can check the color codes more detailedly in the blog post, link in the description box. Now I am going to add a very soft shadow into the circle, it will elevate the icon from the base. You can add a circle by clicking the plus icon on the effects tab, you can copy my settings of mine. But do remember the blur option will make the shadow spread more but if you give a small negative value to the spread option it will decrease the spreading of the shadow and for the shadow color i will be using a darker tone of the actual shape color now add a stroke with three pixel width inside
For the sake of the tutorials, I am going to use the Discord icon from the earlier design. It's an SVG format icon, that's why I can easily edit the colors as well, the download link will be in the blog post. We are going to add some random circular shapes, around the icon circle base, so it looks more playful, be creative with this step. Also, remove the fill color by clicking the minus icon and adding a stroke, it will give that stroked circles. At last, I will create a dedicated place to put my logo in it. Now, we are going to create that 3D dot kind of thing. Again create a circle by selecting a circle in the shape tool, and add a linear gradient color. Click the fill color icon and then select linear instead of solid. Then copy my settings for the inner shadow settings, it will give a 3D look to the element. You can also see the setting from my previous circle, I am going to use this one, in this design as well. Now, let's add the shadow to the 3D dot. Create another small circle under the main circle, then add a darker tone of the primary color to the circle. Finally, add a blur layer effect. I am going to decrease the stroke width of the curly line because it's too much right now. To select a specific part into a folder or frame, you need to place the mouse on that object, press Ctrl, and click that object, it's an easy process to select an item instead of selecting the layer from the folder. Now, at last, we are going to add the text. Select the text tool and create a text area, choose a clean sans serif font and make it bigger. Now add a fill color, and you are good to go. Also, create a copy of that 3D dot circle shape, and place the circle in a smaller size to make it a full stop. Now, it's time to add the glass effect, create another rectangle shape with a rounded corner. Place this rectangle box under the text layer. We will add a glass morphism effect to this box, so the text looks visible. Add a white color fill to the rectangle shape, the hex code will be 6F. And add a background blur effect with the value of mine. But where is the glass effect? 
You need to give only 1% fill opacity value to the shape to get the effect, and boom, you can see the glass effects. To make the design more appealing, add some circular shapes behind the glass box layer, the circles will have a nice spread and glowing look. Now add a layer blur effect to the glass rectangle shape, it will make the sharp shape into a blending shape. If you put 100% opacity, then you can see the blending more clearly. So we are done with the design. Let me show you the fantastic trick to make the design into other colors. Select all the elements and create a single group by pressing Ctrl plus G. Then create a duplicate of this group. When you select the group, you will see a new tab called Selection Colors. You can change the colors from there, and it will be changed to the actual design. By doing that, you don't need to select each layer then changing the colors. If you are unable to find out which color is for which element. You can click the target icon beside the color codes, and it will highlight that shape. Another trick will be to change the color to a solid red color or a different color, by doing that, you can see which element color is changing. Let's move to the saving the panels part, to save the template in high resolution, select the group and press the plus icon under the export tab. Choose PNG and use 2x, it will export the design double the size. But it will be back to the original ratio once you put that into the discord panel, and we are done. So, that's the end of this Figma tutorial, I hope it was helpful. If it was a like will be highly appreciated, and a subscribe will make my day and will catch you in the next one. Stay creative, keep creating. Peace.